Uh, I got bored with, I didn't get bored with it, I just got sick of sitting inside working on the computer. So I want to take another try at the steel threads thing. I've got the wire here. I uncoiled it. It wasn't hard. I just put the thing back in the vise, grabbed it with the pliers, pulled it, it spooled right out easy as can be. So I've got that and I'm gonna try to find that dowel that I made on the lathe that was one and a quarter inches. I'm just gonna wind it around this dowel except this time it's a one and a quarter inch dowel. It's gonna get a tighter wind. Then I'm gonna put it on the bigger dowel. I'm gonna then wind another one of these to act as a kind of a spacer except it'll be shorter it won't be as many winds the idea will be to screw that onto or in between the threads on this one to give me the correct spacing across here's another thing the spacing doesn't have to be perfect the spacing can be close and that will be good enough I think um, I'm gonna find out though because I'm gonna do it this time I'm not going to show any of the winding, I'm just going to show the finish, how it's going to go together. Hopefully at that time I can mix up some epoxy and get that in there to cement the threads in place and we can actually try it out at some point in the future. Okay, well I've decided to do a scaled down version because once again this is just a test. I don't want to spend a lot of time out here this evening. It's uh, that much they're wound fairly tight uh, not as evenly as I would like but we'll see how it works what I want to do is cut that off maybe I'll do that with the grinder that with the grinder to avoid you know unwinding it any now I'm going to take the bigger one I'm going to do the same thing again with another one unless this actually works without doing it take the dowel and put in here yeah this is going to be very difficult to do I would need some sort of thing to pull it on there and push it on there and by then I think that it would be totally out of shape unless I kind of unwind it onto it like this right, let's see how that works Alright, well I got it on so far and then I was struggling with it and struggling with it and then it occurs to me that maybe if I drive a nail in here that will actually guide the rest of it on there in the same way as a, a screw would. So all I need to do now is just turn it and it will thread right on. Yeah, it's fully wound on there and already it looks better than the previous attempt. The spacing is a lot more even. The uh, coil is tighter on the shaft. It's right tight against the dowel actually. So it doesn't want to move as easily. Now all I need to do is improve the spacing by winding another wire between the ones that are already here. So I've got a different idea. I had this one before also, but I kind of have my doubts about it. One of the problems with anything like this is if you start to think about it, you'll never do it because you'll immediately discount the ideas as they come in. So I'll get the camera in for a closer look. So what I've done is instead of coiling another one in between, I've drilled holes and I've put these pieces of uh, wire that I cut to about a half inch long and stuck those in. And those give me the exact spacing that I need for the threading. Like I said before, it doesn't have to be perfect, and I did it on three sides. The problem is i got to watch that they don't drop out. To finish this off, what I would do is I would mix up some epoxy, brush it on all the way around this so that it's uh, completely coating the coil right down into the wood all the way around. Then I would let it set. I think my epoxy sets fully in about two hours. I would let it set for about a half an hour, 45 minutes. 
until it started to you know grab and then I would pull these pins out so that I would be able to actually get them out and just let it set overnight and then it should be good so while I was drilling these holes another method occurs to me that I could just cut slots right into the dowel that these pieces of wire would fit right into probably tightly just the you know the thickness of a saw blade curve and then I wouldn't have to drill all these holes just coil it around stick the wires in and that would be my spacing I had a comment on the original video guy says well it's not going to work anyway because immediately as soon as you put pressure on the wire will slip off and the epoxy will break I really don't think that that's going to happen because you look at the way the epoxy goes on here's your wire here's the flat part of the dowel and then when the epoxy goes on surface tension will make it arch up the sides of the wire pretend there's a wire here and the surface is here so it arches up the sides so it kind of braces the wire in place like that the only way that it could come out of that looped section there is if it actually got longer because it's fully supported all the way around that's my thinking anyway but we're going to see if it actually works but once again this won't happen in this video this is an ongoing experiment that I'm doing as you can see it's a progression and to be honest that's the way most things go you start with an idea and then you try it and then you fail <laughs> because often that idea doesn't work and then you try it again at a different angle so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my epoxy mix some up brush that on and the next video on this will have a look at the results